All right. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah. We're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. What if we grabbed a little snack for the road? Huh, sounds good. I'll bring the first aid kit as well, just in case. <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Bulging bloat! Ugh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. That's not how things work. I know that's not how things work. Nothing is working the way it should. Especially not this bloating tractor globe. Poor thing is doing what it can. It wasn't designed to lift ships in the first place. I know. But I was hoping it would go the extra mile. Right now, the batteries drain out even before lifting the nest off the ground. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that. But we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for flow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt a gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down. Excuse me? You've never heard of that saying? No. Uh, must be a truth thing, then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah. I got it. Anyway, how much rust do you need in order to... <laughs> pull the panties down? Uh, I don't know. Four or five blocks, like those we already got? Okay, so let's try and find that. This way is also full of rust. Not for long. Here, another big chunk. We probably should grab some more, just to be sure. Let me know when you have enough rust to make the gasket, okay? For sure. Be careful. These creatures don't seem to be in their right mind. I did notice that. That's all right. That's it. First we weaken it, then we pacify it. Okay. One of them is weakened. We should be able to pacify it. Copy that. One Are you all right? One left. All right, that's it. Uh, 
Are you okay? We need to beat it up a bit more, but it's settled down. Now's the time. That's how we rock. And now he's back to being sweet. Seems like it was the rust that made him aggressive. Any idea why? It could just be because they're uncomfortable. If the rust hurts them, that would explain why they're turning violent. But it doesn't explain why they're attacking us and not fighting amongst themselves. Maybe the rust is taking over their nervous system in some way, like a parasite. Or maybe it's because of pheromones. You can also say, I don't know. I'd understand. Okay. I don't know. You hear that, Oink? You're a scientific mystery. Oink. His name is Oink now. Great! We're stacking up. Just a little more rust, and we'll be set. It could always be useful. Boba, aren't we the lucky ones? Uh, what are they? You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. That adds up to 150%. Precisely. A great mystery of modern science. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Maybe. But once you have a taste of my boba salad, you will forget all about it. A good one. Are you okay? Enjoying the view? Definitely. I thought it smelled good around here. Nice one. Dodge this one! You're so okay! He's right for the pool! Bullseye! Eat that! <laughs> Bam! You know what to do! I'm on it! Your turn! Target luck! That didn't seem to bother him much! You! I don't even think he felt that! Like that too much. <laughs> Let's get it over with. It's right before the picking. Harvest time. <laughs> Who's next? I think that's enough rust to cobble up your tractor rope joint. Are we leaving then? Ready when you are. What was that noise? Ugh, my stomach. It needs to be fed soon. We almost missed this one. Uh, I don't like walking. Something. Go K! Okay. Bam! I'm, you know what to do! I got this. Your turn. Ooh. Oh. Oh. 
Blue target chill. Wow, you? Yep. Ugh. Are you all right? Let's get her. Nice one. One to go. Eat that. Yep. Ah. This one's ready. Got you know what to do. On it. Done and done. Yes. That's it. That was the last one. Clearly. We're breathing a lot easier without all this rust. Isn't this the bridge we took to get here? It is. What does she want from us? Nice one. Oh, come on. Dodge this one. Okay. Oh, bam. This one's ready. Yep. Now what? Done and done. <laughs> one to go. Wow. He's fighting back. We may need to change our strategy. Target left. Eat it! Blammo! He's right for you? Yep, saw that! The end. Another thing from home. How many do you think Axanova built before they realized it wouldn't work? I guess they knew what they were doing. Having worked for them, I can tell you they don't just throw money around. Knowing my mom, I'm not surprised. Still though, it shouldn't take years of research and observation to realize that this planet is scattered around like a jigsaw puzzle. You don't just see this and think, ooh, this place is nice. We should settle it. That's what we did. But we didn't have much of a choice. Why did my mom never mention any of this to me? I don't think Axanova wins colonization contracts on the regular. These buildings look kind of old. Your mom may not have been head of the company then. She may not have been with the company at all. Yeah, that's possible. Still, it's weird. Agreed. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. We've been spotted. Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this one yet. Another one.
Okay, now I'm really starving. Imagine how I feel. For here or to go? To go. Too bad. Do you see what I'm seeing? What? Straight ahead. An aerial flow thread. Oh, yeah. Do you think it could carry us all the way up there? Only one way to find out. Are you all right? No way! Boom, baby! Big way! Now what? You! Take that! This one's mine! Ow! Go, girl! Lambo! I'll keep them at bay. Oh, no, you... Oh. See you around. One left. You know what to do. On it. Your turn. Yep. There you go. Done and done. Seems like that's the highest we'll get. That wasn't too far off. Look, there's another bridge over there. Ugh, but I wanted to go all the way up. We'll have to lay off the apple dews then. Too heavy. Nah, this aerial threat is just too. F Did you feel that? What? Like a tremor. No, I wasn't paying attention. I hope I imagined it. Do we agree this thing does not look very natural? Yeah, it's probably satellite debris or a rocket propeller. This part of space is a real dump. I don't know. This stone circle around it still looks weird to me. This? These aren't stones. 
They're Brian's Mollus Molus. Bloofs, for short. Bloofs? Yeah, because when you sit on them, it goes. <laughs> Ooh, I like. I could fall asleep right here. You? Uh. You? <gasps> Who? What? I told you I'm not going back. Go bloot yourselves! You. It's me. I think you fell asleep. Oh. Sorry. These bloofs are way too comfortable. You can't leave me here. <laughs> if we ever need to sleep under the stars, we'll know where to come. You know what we should have packed? A card game? My guitar. You have a guitar? Well, yeah. Where is it? At my house. On top. Well, I guess these days I can't really call it my house. Or even say it's my guitar. I didn't know that you played. To be honest, I wouldn't really say that I play. My mother's had me take courses when I was little. I took him for two years, and then I got tired. I never touched it again. I even called it an old-timey instrument. <laughs> but, I don't know. Now, with the campfire and everything... Hmm. I wish I could pull it out. Oh, I would have played along on the harmonica. <gasps> because you play the harmonica? No. But since we're imagining things, let's just run with it. Yeah, you're right. I can already picture it. We could have founded a band. The number one band on Source. A Yuki. It's an anagram of you and K. Yeah, I got that. I was thinking more along the lines of... Oink and his orchestra. Oh, Oink is in the band too? Of course, on vocals. <laughs> of course. Why not bite the rust? <laughs> not bad. Mm, dual flow. Shattered. Ten thousand pieces. Fugue. <gasps> Apple do stew. Oh, yeah. I definitely like that. We are so apple juice stew now. We'll bring the house down. I think we have enough rust to plug the tractor globe. Okay, then. What are we waiting for? Whoa. I'm not sure what his toy did to him, but I wouldn't like to be in its place. Hold on. Isn't that... What? Let's get a closer look. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay. 
It would seem that he's not gonna share his toy. What did I tell you? I got this. Dodge this one. He's too impervious. We should coordinate our attacks. Missed. All right. Same attack on three. Three. Same attack, same time. He's too impervious. We should coordinate our attacks. It seems like my attacks aren't landing. Maybe if we both attacked at the same time. I think we found the right technique. On your mark. Anytime. Ha! I'm sure he felt that. Three, two, one. Now! Are you all right? You want some more? Ready when you are. Ready. Awesome. You're safe. Nice. All set. Go, go, go. Yeah. On your mark. Go, go, go. Now what? You? Yep. Saw that. He's right for the picking. Harvest time. Cow. Who's next? That was easy. Who left this toy behind? That's not a toy. Looks like... A robot? Almost. It's a Draca. Drone for autonomous cartography. Very old tech. The kind we sent out to beauty before it was integrated to the apiary. Oh. Seems like they pondered integrating Source for a while as well. I wonder why they changed their minds. Could be the fact that this planet is scattered like a puzzle. Probably was a factor. The Draca may hold some answers. You're kidding. No, really. Stuff from that era was built tough. We may be able to boot it back up. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I might have spoken a bit quickly. The flow circuits are completely fried. But, 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 look at what I was able to salvage. The anti-grav chips don't seem to be damaged. I should be able to make them compatible with our boots by tweaking the connectors a bit. Whoa. Even better, the mapping module is also working perfectly. If I plug that into the glove's power source, it should... Boom! This should be very helpful for finding our way around the bits of land. <laughs> you never cease to impress me. Ah, uh, that's nothing, really. These old machines are plain and simple astronautical engineering. Not like the new stuff with boronic nano components everywhere. You... are you okay? Ugh. You know, I am starting to get tired of being beat up by every critter that comes around. Should I carry you? No, that's fine. I can walk on my own. Although if you have some heavy-duty pain meds, I, I wouldn't turn them down. All right. I guess it's time for me to do what I do best. Snuggle? I was more thinking about gathering strange plants with medicinal properties. We already have some medic kits. Oh yeah, we do. Then I guess we just need to find a place to lay low and care for your injuries. So, that way we can map out the different bits? Yeah, and with this, we can make our way back to the nest a lot easier. Hey, look! It says there's another bridge in this area. Perfect. That way we can test if your thingy works. Sorry. I kind of missed my U-turn. We'll do better next time. Did I just see that thing eat up a flow thread? Sure did. That's probably why these creatures don't seem affected by the rust. Good for them. But I hope they're sparing some for others. 
us, namely. Hey, are you sure they canceled the colonization? Because we've come across a lot of infrastructure at this point. I'm just telling you what I read in the archives. Could it be that the archives are... lying? Hmm. Uh, of course they could be. Seems like the radar. Are you surprised? Hmm. Huh. This is weird. What is? It looks like there's also a pre recorded location on the radar. Hmm. What could it be? I don't know. Little Draco's favorite picnic spot? In that case, we definitely have to check it out. Hey, isn't that Oink? That is definitely him. That's Oink. What's happening, big guy? Why are you here? You missed us, didn't you? I bet he felt lonely on his empty eyelid. You do realize that we can't take you along on our journeys, don't you? That would be too exhausting for you. But you can stay with us next to the nest if you want. <laughs> no funny business, though. So? Well, it fits. That's a good sign. Let's get this ball rolling. What? What? Haven't you heard of that one either? Oh, no, I have. It's just a really old fashioned saying. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, that's worse. Can you just switch on the track to globe, please? <laughs> okay. Worked. We did it. Now, we just need to fix up the wings and the turbine and the hypopropellers and... Don't be so cynical. Getting the nest out of the crevasse was quite a feat. Huh? No, don't get me wrong. I am genuinely delighted. I love fixing things up. But I don't think we need to get started right away. <sighs> That's a relief. Come on, give me your boots. Once I plug in these chips, they'll be like a whole new pair. I can barely figure out left and right as they are.
You? Yeah? I see you've brushed your hair in the shower again. How can you tell? It's not draining. Oh, sorry. Do you need anything? No. Huh. Me neither. I am going to kill them. I swear I am going to kill them. Are you sure you don't want to take a break, get some fresh air? No. These bleeding anti-grav chips aren't the boss of me. I still don't understand what the problem is. The problem is, there is such a thing as a standard. And the Borons who designed this drone thought it might be fun to improve this standard. Except, if you take a standard and improve upon it, you get... Two standards? Zero standard! <sighs> and so now, it looks like I have to machine these boron chips. Just so they can fit in these bleeding boots. Uh... Anything I can do to help? No. I'm okay. I'm done. What? But that was super quick. Well, yeah. When you have the right tools. I mean, since you were complaining, I was thinking that it would take a while. It's a matter of principle. Let's go. We'll see if these work outside. Ready to test these bad boys? I guess. What are we doing? Okay, follow the thread as usual, except this time we should be able to make it till the end. Obviously, it doesn't work as well if we're not paying attention. That's awesome. You traveled across space, but floating a few feet above the ground is awesome? Uh, awesomeness is very subjective, you. In any case, these boots are working. We should try them with that thread we weren't able to use last time. Do you remember where it was? The mapping module certainly does. Hmm. This isn't gonna go very far without rust. Why'd you stop? I have a stowaway on my sleeve. A bug? Better. A seed. It must have hooked on when we brushed past the plant. And it just so happens it chose the one with the green thumb. Clever seed. Natural selection doing its work? Do you think you're gonna plant it? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why I asked. If we find enough of them, we could start a little vegetable patch at the nest. I vote yes. Motion approved unanimously. Just need to find some more seeds. Easy enough, don't you think? 
Not so sure. If these plants have few natural predators, they might have somewhat of a slow reproductive process. We'll just need to keep an eye out. You can count on me. <laughs> what? Nothing. I just can't imagine you spotting seeds right out of the wilderness. Says the guy who's incapable of finding his stuff when it's right under his nose. That's not the same. I mean, plants are kind of my specialty. So? I know what a seed looks like, don't I? Certainly. I'm sure I'll find more than you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wanna bet? Don't tempt me.